it has been a, a great discovery to find a, a new system that it's an apple snail, so a very simple organism that has eyes that are very similar to human, but they can fully regenerate after a damage or after even a full amputation. They have a cornea, they have a lens, they have a retina. If we can learn from these organisms how to activate those processes, we should be able to make inroads in restoring uh, vision and restoring our retinal function in systems that are incapable to do so when they get damaged. I had two very big moments where I felt that this can be something very important for uh, all the scientific community. The first one was to find out uh, that uh, this nail has such complex camera type eyes. Usually we associate that uh, type of eyes with vertebrates, with humans, but not with really small creatures that can just crawl around in a lake. And the second really important uh, moment was uh, I found in this tiny little eggs uh, embryos without eyes uh, when I did disrupted Pax 6 So we know that Pax 6 is a gene important for eye development, but the moment of cracking the egg and seeing under the microscope with these little babies without the eye was a moment where I found out that we can actually really use these nails to understand gene function. We are all very familiar on how much eyes are important. We can see outside the window, we can see our smartphone, there are a lot of events uh, that can damage our eyes. There are diseases, uh, there are physical damages, uh, and unfortunately we don't have answers right now on how we can recover our vision after these uh, situations. One of the most amazing things uh, that we were able to develop, uh, it was to get CRISPR-Cas9 uh, technology working uh, on this research organism. It's like a scissors and a copy and paste method where we can chop uh, the genome of the apple snail in a very specific position. Then we can study how the snail can develop without these genes being functional. The future is bright. If we understand the processes that are responsible for this, we would be able to take a great number of these genes and begin to test how can we best introduce their functions in damaged mammalian eyes, for example, to begin to restore some of that viability.